Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen slash dining room. So with new block types and game mechanics coming our way, I wanted to create an example interior design and show you guys some of the building considerations we can now apply to our interiors. So maybe you can use some of these concepts in your own builds. So let's go through this particular area. We've got the entranceway here and you can come on in, hang up a coat if you want to on these tripwire hooks, which is nicely tucked away into the wall here. Got the flowers that meets us on the right, and these are illuminated by some hidden, hidden lighting in the, in the ceiling there using the spruce trapdoors. I think that's a nice look for this part of the room. And as you change direction and walk on in, you'll see the, the fish tank. It's nice and prominent there with the dining table. And as you come in further, you will see the kitchen being attached. So I like that the changing in direction that you have as you walk on in, and then you can look into the, the details as you come closer into the room. So let's talk about this fish tank. So this is a nice setup, I think, using the, the blue stained glass at the front here. And it looks great, I think, with the, the stripped dark oak wood for the walls around it. As for the inside here, I'm using the seagrass, the kelp, and I've got some coral plants and the blocks as well in here. I've got a bubble stream here and that's just by having a soul sand block with two, at least two water source blocks above it. That's how we get this bubble effect. I do have some fish in here, you have to name them to make sure they don't despawn, but it's a great look to just stare at them and uh, yeah, maybe you want to have a sit down at night time and just check out what's going on in the fish tank. I think it looks good. I do have an inner chest in here as well, mainly for looks, but also have a hidden light source directly underneath it, so it helps to light up this corner of the room. It's a nice little trick to <laughs> have a wall like this when you want to tuck away some more hidden lighting. I've got a light source directly underneath that. As for this dining room, it's nice uh, and simple design. I'm going for the stairs to create the actual table. And for the, the middle part here, this is like a table runner. I'm using the new kelp block. I think it looks good. The textures look pretty nice in an, uh, a table design like this. And uh, directly above it, I got this, uh, well, I got this flower pot here with a light source above it. This is just an end rod surrounded by the spruce trap doors. I think it looks okay. It's a nice way to create an overhanging light source. For the walls, here I've got the spruce stripped wood and this is the dark oak that's stripped wood creates a nice wall to, uh, like a wash down interior look for these blocks i think this is a great block that's coming to the game and here i'm just using some saplings in a flower pot um, i'm using saplings rather than flowers for a particular setup like this because it fills out the, the pot plant a little bit more um, than the, the like the tulips do and the green certainly looks great with the brown over in this corner we have ourselves a little drinking station maybe you want to grab some alcohol or some other kind of drink source from these and uh, enjoy that at the dining room table and uh, at the wall here I've just changed the background to be uh, using grey concrete I think that's a, a nice look to change out the, uh, the wall type I've also got some hidden lighting directly underneath these um, tucked away behind these spruce trapdoors as we come on in into this kitchen area uh, you'll see I've got the basics kind of set up I've got a, like a prep area, sink area some kind of oven area obviously got this uh, the strip that you typically have in kitchens some kind of uh, island and I've got a fridge set up here as well and um, I'm using all the trapdoors well I'm using a couple of the trapdoors anyway in here to try and create some different effects so I've got the spruce trapdoors here this is uh, just for visual stuff here I'm hiding away some lighting I've got a, an end rod behind that up on the top here this is the jungle trapdoor and uh, this strange thing here, this is supposed to be a handle, I guess. To me, this looks like the hinge, and I would expect it to open it the opposite way, but you know, each to their own, I guess. I'd, I'd try and make this spot here tidy up right next to the spruce slabs here, just so it um, doesn't look as strange if this this little darkness part of the, the trap door was not in the middle. Anyway, so it's just an overhead light source. Inside here, this is like a prep area, and this is where I've just got the trick of having one of these horizontally placed item frames with a glass pane in it. And I've just got a pressure plate that's been placed directly around that. That's how you get this raised effect of whatever the item is in here. I think that looks good. Just got the banners with some towels. And this is a wither skeleton skull. It's facing in that direction the way my I'm looking right now. Just why you don't see the front of the, the skull. But I think this could be a, a nice representation of any kind of kitchen appliance. For me, it kind of looks like a, a toaster or something like that. Um, I think it looks good in a setup area like this. Here I've got the hoppers for a sink design. You can really put anything here and using the tripwire hooks for taps. 
I think it's a nice look. And again, I'm using the spruce trapdoors here to tuck away the side of the block. And because these are hoppers, it will allow light to travel through it. That's why I've got some hidden lighting directly underneath those. Just another banner here for looks. Here I've got, um, here I'm just using the, the dark oak trapdoor just for a different look for the side here, just to break it up a little bit on this part of the wall. But I've got the item frames again, and here I've got detector rails in them to make them look like some heating sources. And these are just using the furnaces directly underneath. So you could access these easily and uh, do your cooking all you want in your kitchen. And over here we've got ourselves our fridge with some more hidden lighting. So not a lot of redstone, or in fact there's really no redstone at all in this particular build. It's just really for aesthetics. I think it looks good. A good use of the trapdoors, I think, um, for shelving and just different decorations. And I think uh, there's many more possibilities we could do with the trapdoors. But I do like this kind of setup. I do have another hidden light source directly underneath this chest. That's why that chest is there. Um, but yeah, as to putting the new blocks into good use, I think this is a good example of how we could mix in the different block types. Got the stripped oak and um, the trapdoors, and obviously the, the new water mechanics over here. I think there's many possibilities we could do, and this is a great example of how we could use that in a build. So I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you can use some of these considerations, building considerations in your own build, and uh, look out for the next interior design that I'll publish. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.